Ever since I finished Horizon Forbidden West, I've always been thinking about the words studio director Jan Bart van Beek said in the teaser trailer for Horizon Call of the Mountain. Now, as you join Aloy on her journey into the Forbidden West, it's great to know that this is not the final frontier of the world of Horizon. In fact, it's only the beginning. Like sure, the ending of Forbidden West totally teased a third game, but since then we've also seen more and learned a ton about that VR title. There's a Netflix show on the way and we got some leaks about that. I also would not be surprised if there's even more that Girl Like Games has been cooking up. Bex Holland just joined the studio and said in May 2022 that it's going to be a busy year after they already launched Forbidden West. So I think we might get more announcements in 2022. I just want to take a good look at what we can expect from Gorilla Games in the future. Of course, if you are excited for the future of Horizon, then leaving a like on the video would really be awesome. Subscribe to be up to date on everything regarding the franchise and let's go. Where the first PlayStation VR headset really liked games from big Sony IP, Horizon Call of the Mountain is set to change that for PlayStation VR 2. So it turns out that the boat ride we saw in the first teaser and now again in the new trailer is a separate experience where you're likely only able to look around as fang horns check you out or watchers cross the river above you. It really reminds me of the Into the Deep mini game from PlayStation VR Worlds, where you also cannot move and have a shark attack. Well, now it's a snap mall. It really serves more as an introduction to VR. But next to that, we also have the real game where we have to climb and fight the machines of the sun then. Yes, only the Zero Dawn machines seem to be present. Glint Hawks were never this annoying, but luckily we got the fire arrows to take them out. We can dodge incoming attacks and also use a special ballista to fight a thunder jaw especially the part where the thunder jaw is about to crush us should be pretty scary in vr i overall really like the fact that we play a brand new character reyes who we also see in the very awesome key art but he was actually already mentioned in a data point you can find at baron light in forbidden west it's over here on the map next to the stitcher here we learn that he was a Shadow Karja who kidnapped the half-brother of Sun King Avat, but that instead of killing him, Avat put Reyes in prison after capturing him. Well, in the data point it's mentioned that he will be like staying in prison for life, but in the new trailer for Call of the Mountain we hear that Marat is giving him an option at freedom if he investigates this new threat to the Sundom. So seems like this game also takes place during or maybe after the ending of Forbidden West and along the way you will meet Horizon characters new and old, including Aloy herself. So yeah, curious when in the timeline it actually takes place, because after the ending of Forbidden West would of course be extra interesting. I'm overall looking forward to it. It's likely planned for early 2023, as it's confirmed that the PSVR 2 is not coming this year, with rumors saying that it's early 2023 instead. But I don't think this means that we will not have any more Horizon content in 2022. Like, I would be shocked if we did not see a Forbidden West expansion this year. Not only because we also had a DLC for Zero Dawn in November following its launch in February, but also because there are some loose ends in the game right now that we of course already discussed in previous videos. Like sure, the route to the Hello Rock Castle might be cut content, you find that over here on the map. Although, it does look like a play area that could be patched in if you check it out with your Sunwing. No, but if there's only one expansion, I totally think we will access it from this point over here on the map close to Las Vegas. Where we do not only see the real world Memorial Bridge, but also the Hoover Dam they recreated. While right now, there's no reason to check it out. And with The Last of Us Part 1 now announced for September and God of War Ragnarok rumored for November, I would would not be surprised if this DLC launched in October to have something big from the Sony First Party every month. With the big New Game Plus update out now and the game in a better spot than ever, I think it's time to look at some brand new content very soon. In April 2020, Video Game Chronicle put up this article, noting that Guerrilla is planning a Horizon Zero Dawn trilogy and I think it's obvious that this PS5 generation will see the third game, hopefully a bit faster than the gap between Zero Dawn in Forbidden West, but that was of course mostly caused by COVID. But more interesting from that same article is the inclusion of a co-op mode. People with knowledge of the game also indicated the inclusion of a co-op feature, although it's not clear if this is delivered via the main story 
or a separate mode. The original Horizon first had a player 2 option, but they decided to remove that during development because it would drop the level of detail in the game by half, which might not be an issue now if they make this multiplayer mode exclusively for PS5. And we had many job listings throughout the years hinting at multiplayer development at Guerrilla, including for a senior social systems designer with a passion for player communities and social features. We can explore creative ways players can connect with others in game, also mentioning the fact that if players want to, they can like make guild-like groups to explore together. And it looks like Marc Olivier is hired for the job, as we see on his LinkedIn, with his personal website saying that he's working on an unannounced project since February this year, with previous experience being in social multiplayer type games. But again, there were many job listings like this. I highlighted this one, for example, in my 2019 video. And now, if you look at the Gorilla website, you see one for a senior principal game service engineer who needs to work on PSN server integration. Like it seems to happen, and with Sony having two unannounced live service games planned for a launch before April 2023, I just wonder if this Horizon multiplayer game is one of them, as the Lost of a Standalone multiplayer seems to launch later than that. There's another layer to this, by the way. I want to touch on that soon, but first, let's go over the Netflix TV show. I already discussed the news in a previous video, going over some big announcements Sony made regarding the future. I will link to that video in the video description. But now we got some actual rumors from Jeff Grubb, who is very credible, although he does note that things could, of course, still change. So we have no images or footage of the Netflix show yet, but it seems to split time between the things we in the game but also show things from the old world so before the fall it should not be a reboot but actually explain other elements that happen in the game and likely give more context and i think that sounds pretty cool like have the tv show expand on important details that right now we only experienced through data points and audio logs maybe we follow elizabeth Sobek in this as well next to aloy in the regular period plus they could also be filming in toronto the only weird thing that Jeff Grubb said is that it's called Horizon 2074. Like he mentioned that a couple of times during the stream. The show as pitched right now is called Horizon 2074 and it will split its time between the the, the timeline you see in the games and the timeline of where when things begin to fall. But yeah, 2074 is of course weird because everything was already wiped between eight and six years before that. So maybe he meant like a different year. Your thoughts are of course more than welcome in the comments down below. Like overall, I think an arcane style show would fit really well for Horizon. Also because the visual effects for the machines will probably be really expensive in live action. Although they're still probably going to do live action. And then the actress behind Hegrid from Game of of Thrones would of course be perfect for Aloy. Sources tell Deadline that the project is still in early development, so it will likely be a while before we see or hear anything. But yeah, it's overall clear that Sony wants to expand the Horizon brand, get more eyes on it, which will then of course also benefit the games a lot. And this brings us to the secret big second project Guerrilla Games has been working on for at least four years and five months, looking at the LinkedIn from Simon LaRouche. All this time he has been a game director on a secret game is a secret since 2018 he's not directly involved with forbidden west but he did work at gorilla before on the killzone 2 multiplayer maps after that he went to ubisoft and focused on online components for splinter cell blacklist he was the game director on rainbow six siege and also Watch Dogs 2 and this interesting his linkedin also notes that he was in charge of a multiplayer component for marvel's guardians of the galaxy from march 2017 till February 2018. But this of course did not make it into the final game as it was a single player only title but yeah this once again shows that he worked on third person multiplayer modes because the fact that he worked on Rainbow Six Siege 
as many like websites and people believe that Guerrilla Games is also doing a shooter. Maybe the return of Killzone, even though if you go to killzone.com you see that it's dead. Like why do that if you have plans to revive it soon? Also the most recent LinkedIn post Simon shared talks about the fact that we have a team and our team needs someone that makes hitting digital things fun. This for a senior combat designer where it's noted that this recruit needs to have a passion for and a deep understanding of third person combat mechanics and have thoroughly played a wide variety of different titles. Also in the really great Horizon Zero Dawn documentary from Noclip it was noted that before they settled on Horizon as a new IP they wanted to work on they received 40 pitches from members of the team that could all share their inputs but only one was really a shooter. It really seems that after making four mainline Killzone titles, they really prefer the third person action RPG gameplay in the more colorful universe. Now, I'm not ruling it out. They still have the shooter experience. Sony is lacking a first party shooter in their catalog right now. Maybe it is a shooter, but set in the Horizon universe, like before the fall where we fight the Pharaoh Plague. That could be pretty interesting. But all I'm saying is that, look, Looking at everything we found on the internet, nothing indicates that a shooter at Guerrilla Games is happening, while it's totally clear that they are doing a live service game. So I personally think that the rumored co-op mode for Forbidden West might be the second project, so that it's even bigger in scope, more so than a free addition would be to Forbidden West, like Legends was the Ghost of Tsushima. Really a Monster Hunter Horizon game, where they can use the same machines they already created, but of course have to tweak them a bit to make them multiplayer compatible and where they have brand new character classes based on the playstyles we see in Forbidden West. I really think that would be amazing and it would not hurt the single player story of course at all and again with Sony's push into live service titles with already two of them launching in the next eight months I really think that this could be one of them. So yeah, a Forbidden West DLC, Horizon Call of the Mountain, and this multiplayer project that has been in the works for more than four years. Like, that would indeed be a busy year for Gorilla, with then the Netflix show likely coming later. I'm really excited and curious so what the future holds. I will, of course, keep you posted here, so totally subscribe to stay up to date on everything Horizon if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. And totally check out my previous video where we go in depth on what all the other big Sony studios are working on. And you can watch that by clicking on the screen. For now, I'll speak to you soon. Let me know what you think, of course, in the comments. And goodbye.